Do I look like I blend into this wall over here? I need to get some more sun on me, don't I? What's up everybody, how's it going? Today, I am putting my transparent hat on. That's right. In the past, I've posted two videos on this channel sharing compensation information about big tech companies. In one of them, I shared general compensation information about Google, and I vaguely shared some of the figures that I was making when I just started out at Google. In the other video, I shared how much I made at Facebook. But one thing that I've never done is not only show the exact figures from the official documents that I received from these companies, but also share the figures that I made in the middle of my time at Google. Because you see, when you work at big tech companies like Google or Facebook, every year you get a raise, or at least you can get a raise. You get a bonus, you can get equity refreshes, meaning more equity. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, showing all the figures fully transparently. Why am I doing this, you might wonder? Because my name is Clement Mihalescu, comma, the transparent. And I really hope that you'll be able to find value in these figures. Maybe you're considering getting into software engineering and this will give you a good idea of what you could expect to make at a big tech company as a software engineer over your first two years. Maybe you're negotiating an offer and this should give you a good point of comparison or maybe you are just very curious. In any case, I hope that you find this informative. And I'm doing this absolutely for free all that I ask of you is that you think back to a time in your life when you were incredibly angry, so angry that you had this unquenchable desire to smash something, and that you redirect that anger to the like button on this video, and that you absolutely smash it. That is all that I ask of you. And that you listen to a message from our sponsor, which happens to be the same sponsor that we've had on virtually every single video on this channel, my company, Algo Expert. If you're preparing for your coding interviews, especially the kinds of coding interviews that big tech companies like Google and Facebook like to give, check out algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM, C -L -E -M, for a discount on the platform. <sighs> All right, so let's jump into the figures. We're going to begin with when I started at Google, which was almost three years ago now. I started at Google on May 1st, 2017. I was an L3 software engineer, meaning an entry-level software engineer, and I was based in New York City. So this is the offer letter that I received. As you can see, I signed it in April 2017. I've blurred out most of the stuff that's not relevant or that might be confidential, but the stuff that's important is the salary, the bonus target, and the equity compensation. For the salary, you can see that I received an annual salary or the base salary of $115,000. That means that I was guaranteed to make $115,000 per year. Then for the bonus target, your annual bonus target will be 15% of your base salary, so 15% of $115,000. The actual bonus amount could be larger or smaller than this amount based on my performance and the performance of the company. And then finally, the equity compensation, I was granted 135 restricted stock units. This just means 135 shares of Google Class C stock. And basically, I got 25% of these 135 shares after my first year at Google, and then the rest vested on a quarterly basis proportionally. So basically, the long story short is I got 135 shares divided by four per year. So now to see what my total compensation was, we have to look at the Google stock price back in, I guess, May or April 2017. So April 2017, the stock price was roughly, let's say, 824 US dollars. So I actually did the math here in Google. You divide 135 shares by four, multiply that by $824 per share, add the base salary, and then 15% of the base salary, and that gives me a total compensation of $160,000. Now, if you look at today's stock price for Google Class C stock, 1,439, assume that I would never sell Google shares, never sell your Google shares. Google's an amazing company. But so 1,439, replace 824 with 1,429, and you have a total compensation of $180,000. But so again, back then, the stock price was around 800, 
100, so my total compensation was $160,000. So now let's jump eight months forward in about December 2017 when I got my first raise, my first equity refresh, and that annual bonus. This is the official award letter that I received in December 2017. Thank you, Clement. Thank you for your contributions over the past year. You're welcome, Google. A little bit late, but you're welcome. As you can see, I got an annual base salary increase of $10,000, bringing me up to $125,000. That was an 8.7% increase from my previous base salary. Then I got an annual bonus of $17,500. Now, the important thing here is it tells you the percentage. So my target percentage had been 15%. Because I performed pretty well, I got an actual percentage of 22.7%, but this bonus was prorated. Because I started in May, May 1st, 2017, I had only been at the company for eight months. So if you actually do 22.7% of 115, what is that? 0.227 times 115, that's 26,000. I only got 17.5 thousand because it's prorated for only eight months. And then I got an equity refresh worth $13,500. Now I remember that during that year there was some sort of internal drama. Some people hadn't gotten much of an equity refresh, so I forget if this was kind of low. I'm not sure. The point is, that's what I got, $13,500. Now the way this works is, this is another four-year grant. Basically this says, starting now, over four years, you're gonna get $13,500 worth of stock. And so you see, if you look, they say the intended grant date of January 3rd, 2018, the resulting number of GSUs, of Google stock units, will be calculated based on the closing stock price from the day before the grant date. So basically, if we, we would have to go look at January 2nd, 2018. So January 2nd, 2018, it was roughly 1,100, the Google stock price, and you would do 13.5 thousand divided by 1,100 roughly, and I, that means that I would get 12.27 Google stock units or Google shares over four years. So overall, roughly three additional Google shares per year, which comes down to roughly $3,375 in addition per year. So basically by that point, if we go back to our original math, I was now making 135 divided by four, this was my first Google stock grant, multiplied by let's say 1,100, because that was the price of Google stock back in January 2018, plus 125,000, plus 15% times 125,000, because that was my new base salary, plus 3,300, what did we say, 75? So my new total compensation at the time was roughly in the 184 thousand dollars per year ballpark. But keep in mind that my bonus had been much higher than 15%. It had been roughly 22%, 22.7%. Okay, so now let's flash forward about 10 months to October 2018 when I got promoted. So congratulations, Clement. Thank you for your contributions and congratulations on your promotion to Software Engineer 3. Now, fun fact here, some of you might be wondering, what the hell? I thought you were an L3 software engineer. How did you get promoted from L3 to Software Engineer 3. Well, you know how Google has terrible naming patterns? I'm looking at you, Angular. I mean, seriously, right now we're on Angular 2, but what is the actual version of Angular? What version of Angular are we on? What's new in Angular 9? <laughs> What? Like Angular 2 is equal to Angular 4, which is equal to Angular, which is equal to Angular 9. Anyway, Google's not great at naming, and so they've decided to name externally their levels L3, L4, L5, but internally L3 is actually Software Engineer 2, L4 is Software Engineer 3. Anyway, so this is what's going on. So I got promoted to L4, Software Engineer 3, and my new base salary went from $125,000 per year to $136,000 per year. That was an 8.8% increase. And that was the only increase that I got when I became an L4 software engineer at Google. Okay, so now flash forward two months, December 2018, so right after I'd gotten promoted, I got my second 
annual raise at Google. So this is the official letter that I got. Once again, thank you, Clement. Thank you for your contributions over the past year. You are very welcome, Google. And so here I got a very small salary increase, comparatively speaking, of 4.4%. And I think this was because I had just gotten promoted. So I went from 136,000, which had been the new one, to 142,000. Now my annual bonus here was a little bit higher than the previous year at 24.2%, still off of the target 15%, but that was based on performance and all that good stuff. And so this time it wasn't prorated because I had all of 2018 working at Google. So I got 30,300 US dollars as a bonus. And then my equity refresh this time around was a lot bigger than the previous year. And here again, I'm not sure if it was because of performance, because I had been there for a full year, because I was now an L4 engineer, because for whatever reason, Google was giving more this year or less the previous year. I don't know. Point is it was $82,500 over four years. So again, you can do the same sort of calculation. It's roughly $20,625 per year, and the intended grant date is January 2nd, 2019, so we have to look at the stock price of that time. So January 2nd, 2019, it was still about 1100 so here it had dipped because look, it had gotten to like 1200 in mid-2018, so this was a good time to get like stock because basically you, you want the stock price to be lower so you get more shares and then the stock price is gonna go back up eventually because Google's an awesome company and yeah, you'll just have more stock. But so at that point in time, if you want to know what my total compensation was at the very beginning of 2019, you'd go back to my math here. So 135 divided by four times 1,100, we can leave that, plus 142 thousand dollars plus 15 percent times 142 thousand dollars plus 3375 roughly that first uh, equity that first equity refresh plus we said here roughly twenty thousand what was it twenty thousand six hundred twenty five so twenty thousand six hundred twenty five and you have a total compensation of roughly two hundred and twenty four thousand dollars and again this is only the 15 percent bonus clearly my bonus had been roughly like 10 percent more so this would actually be higher but this was my total compensation at Google in early 2019. And then finally, when I joined Facebook, this is the offer letter that I got at Facebook. Again, I'm blurring most of the stuff here that's not really relevant. The base pay, this is relevant. In this position, you will earn a starting base pay of $167,000 per year. Kind of crazy to think that my base pay at Facebook was bigger than my total compensation when I started at Google. A bonus, you may be eligible to receive a semi-annual discretionary bonus of a target of 10%, so 10% is the equivalent of Google's 15%, so it's a little bit lower, but based on your performance, you can overachieve your bonus target. Then I got a sign-on bonus, a one-time non-recurring sign-on bonus of $75,000 to be paid within 30 days after I started. Yes, I had to pay back the sign-on bonus when I left Facebook. I had to pay back a prorated amount, so I got to keep part of it proportional to the time that I was there for the first year. So I was only there for a couple of months, but I did have to pay back the remainder. I know a lot of you asked in the previous question, a moment of silence for Clement Mihalescu, comma, the transparent. Please smash the like button to make me happier because this is making me sad now thinking about this. And then restricted stock units. So this is very similar to Google. So here my grant was 360,000 US dollars over four years. So here the only difference is Google Google, when in the offer letter, they actually gave me the number of shares, 135. Facebook, they gave me the value. They didn't tell me the number of shares. I only got the number of shares like one month after I started. And to be honest, I forget what it was. It was based on the stock price around that time. But you can think of it as roughly worth $360,000 US dollars. And if the Facebook stock price keeps going up, then it's going to go up. And let's see, has Facebook stock price gone up? Let's do this. Facebook Facebook stock price it one year. So I joined in like September, so it was 188. Yeah, it has gone up a lot. So Facebook stock price has gone up a lot. So basically that $360,000 uh, over four years, so $90,000 per year is probably more like 100 or $110 thousand dollars per year. But so at Facebook, my total compensation was something around you know, 278 
or it's $273,000 per year, plus the sign-on, which brought it up almost to $350,000 per year. So you can see the progression, right? I started at Google my very first year at $160,000 per year, roughly total compensation. Then after the first year, went up to roughly $180,000 per year. Then the following year, I was at like $225,000 per year. And then the following year at Facebook, I was at like $275,000 if not $350,000 per year if you count the sign-on bonus. So really nice salary progression. And that's that. That's all I've got for you. This has been an episode of Clement, the Transparent. I really hope that you appreciated the transparency. I hope that you'll find this information valuable, whether you are negotiating an offer, thinking about getting into software engineering, or just super curious for whatever reason about how much did Clement Mihalescu make when he was at Google or Facebook. Hopefully this answers all of those questions. And with that, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.